Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. Sorry again, once again I am in the car. I'm in here with the kitties. Um, just a quick update on hubby. He went to work yesterday, but he was still in pain. So he ended up having to um, go see the urologist today. So that's where we're coming from. We went in to go check out. We went to go um, meet up with the urologist. Um, I think I was trying to tell you guys in yesterday's video. If I was, I'm just going to scratch that video because I look a hot mess. But today we went, he got to speak with her and she basically indicated that he should be taking, maybe take the time off until his dent comes out, which will be Friday. And, ba and she explained to him that all of his symptoms are natural. The thing with coming out of the, the hospital is that they didn't tell, they didn't inform him a great deal. Like they send him home with a little brochure telling him what to, he should do, but that was it. It didn't go in. Yeah, it wasn't very, like it was informative to an extent, but it didn't explain a lot. Like she was explaining that he should be drinking a glass of water every hour. We didn't know that, so yeah, and basically that the recovery is, is the the recovery is to each their own, and she doesn't really recommend you know people going back until their stent comes up because they're gonna experience a ton of discomfort, not to mention the frequent urination, frequent trips to the bathrooms, which is what he was experiencing, so he did go to work yesterday, but he did experience the discomfort, so he um went and saw the urologist this morning and basically got that that information again and so he'll be staying he stayed home today obviously and he will be staying home tomorrow and we'll see about Friday I think he's gonna be going back to work on Friday but that is when the stent comes out and I saw one of you guys comment down below that um, it's gonna be you feel bad for him about that stent I know it sounds so gross <laughs> like not gross but it sounds painful like I, I couldn't imagine doing it I remember when I went to go um, give birth to well to my kids to all of them because of their c-section before my surgery they had to they always have to give you know, put insert a catheter and i just i couldn't stand that that's the worst part for me so i can only imagine having to pull like a stent out of your ureter and it's coming all the way from your kidney so yeah well i'm sure he'll be okay and um i mean others before him have done this so <laughs> i guess I guess it's not the end of the world, but this, you know, this whole thing was just like bam, bam. It all went so fast. It's like he went down, he's went to the hospital, he's having surgery, and now we're here. So it's basically like a little mini life update because I feel like so much has been going on in our lives. And with him having to have this emergency, emergency surgery, I didn't explain to you guys as well that um, he... Like our car is down. I think I briefly mentioned it in a video that our car, our other car is down. And so now, so he's taken, it was for two weeks straight, he's basically taken the van to work. And that's not good because it does leave me vehicleless for, you know, I don't really mind because I'm a homebody. So, so long as we got grocery in the house and, you know, I don't know. I don't that that stuff doesn't concern me. I'm one of those people I kind of go with the flow and I don't worry about that kind of stuff. So I was happy that we had another vehicle that he could go to work. It was just kind of it is kind of stressful just because our other obligations and commitments that I have with the kids like our co-op or, or you know or I had to miss our first meeting and just things like that like I'm not up I'm not actively um there. Um, yeah, so just stuff like that. I ended up not, um, I missed just some things that are actually important to us. I, yeah, and my brain hasn't just had the time to really sit and just go over the things that we need to. We had sw homes, we had swimming, homeschooling swimming started and I was trying to enroll the girls in it, but it, time crunch was so close. And then the woman actually notified me that there's a spot, but then I still couldn't go. Cause I'm like, okay, until we get the vehicle, I don't want to then sign up for yet another commitment that we can't go to for the first two weeks or three, you know? So it's already been two weeks since this vehicle has been down. Um, the first, the reason why we're still at this stage is because I mean, a finan financially, it, I'm not going to lie, financially, it, it's a bit of a strain just because we just came from this stage where we just got this van and we had to, you know, money had to go towards it. It wasn't just like straight up finances. We had to put a chunk of money towards it and that came from, you know, places. So, um, yeah. And then, and so now it's just, it's honestly, it's like a month later and now we have to deal. And you guys saw the stresses. You guys saw 
the stresses firsthand of what it was like um, shopping for a vehicle. Oh my, when life throws you lemons, you gotta make lemonade, but it's not to say it's gonna be tasting very good. What? Me? <laughs> right? Yeah. I say, is it gonna be the best lemonade? I don't know. Right? We trying to make lemonade, lemonade, huh? I make good lemonade. <laughs> yeah, for, apparently. Like, you know, so yeah, this is a bit of like a little mini update because we've been, you know, we've been without a vehicle. So yeah, there was the stress of getting this vehicle and that was dealt with and we're like, okay, smooth. And it was like smooth for a month. And then Hubby's car went down, it broke down and then we fixed it, guys. And I mentioned, I did tell you guys how much it cost. It was like over 500 bucks. This is a fix, you know, it's just a little beater car that you drive to work. So it's not like anything amazing, but we had to put a, you know, a little chunk of money into it. And then it's, honestly like a week later we encounter another problem and this problem is gonna cost like seven hundred dollars to fix which is not worth it eventually if you keep pouring money and money into this car it's, it ends up being like such a waste because spending more than the car is worth which will make no sense a mechanic is a really you know good mechanic good Christian guy he is very upfront and he told hubby like I don't think you should invest the money in it it's not worth it um, you know even with you fixing this a week from now a month from now you can encounter the same problem so thank God for good mechanics who will straight up tell you what the problem is and tell you and who will look out for you and tell you don't waste your money fixing that we spend a whole week looking for cars and we're trying to find one in a specific budget because like I said we just invested a lot of money into this van and trying to find that is not always easy secondly um, then we came to the the decision that the guy said he could put maybe some cheaper ball bearings on there that could could give you just a window room for you to come you know come by the money or whatever to get the vehicle that you need and so then after week one of looking we're like okay you know what maybe we should just do that because honestly it's costing you the same amount it's costing us the same amount to to in gas alone just for this van for hubby to drive it to work so um, yeah, long story short, we came to that conclusion that, that that's what we were going to do. But then he spoke to the mechanic who kind of, you know, explained again, like, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Like, honestly, just spend the money and rent a vehicle or do something, but don't invest it back into this car. So now we're here and we're like, okay, so now we're going to um, get rid of this car. We're going to just put it up for like a for chum change, get rid of it because it's, um, you know, it's, I peeps, you know, someone out there could use it for parts or if someone's a mechanic and they want to spend the time and fix it, they can. So that's where we're at again. <laughs> He's still going to have to take. And then, and then all of a sudden this kidney thing, um, kidney stone issue just popped up out of nowhere and then surgery. And it's just like, it's just been like a flood of things just compounding one another and we're here. <laughs> so you know, life is, is, life is stressful. And I mean, I'm sharing my, our struggles with you because we obviously have struggles just like anyone else. It's always funny I, when you hear like bigger YouTubers say that because like, just because they have money or just because they have things, it doesn't mean that they have it all together. And now it's obviously different coming from us because we're no bigger, we're not a bigger YouTuber by any means. So I, but you know, I just want to also share even you guys watch it and we share, you know We try to share like the happy moments in our vlogs with you guys But we also share some real life stuff because it's real life and it's important that you guys our viewers know that we're real people and Not just when it comes to oh don't say certain things and throw insult but also just when it comes to viewing and looking from the outside in and just feeling like our lives are perfect and are without flaws or without um problems or struggles and that's why okay who are you beeping yeah so yeah anyways i don't want you guys to think that our lives are without flaws or struggles so that's why i'm sharing this with you guys and just also just to say serve as encouragement because you can see that you know we have this issue here and then we come out of it and we did with this vehicle but it was a struggle in the sense that we needed a vehicle to drive our family and so thank god for that and we've come by that and it's just like one big weight off of our chest but now we are dealing with another issue and this issue is you know the issue of not having um 
of hubby not having a car. We need him to have a, a vehicle that's reliable, that can last him a, a while, and you know, that can take him to work safely because his safety does matter. So anyways, like I said, I just wanted to share with you guys just so you guys can not only um, continue to pray for us, for those of you who do, but to also encourage you guys that you don't have, you know, I know, like I said, it's easier said than done because I mean, in our situation, we do happen to have another vehicle that heavy can use. And I know in certain situations, people don't necessarily have that, but just, you know, when you, when life throws you lemons, the saying is to make lemonade. And what I mean by that is just do your best to keep faith and just work towards your goal and find means and ways just instead of just panicking or freaking out just think find ways to work towards your pro like fixing your problem that's the only way if you don't start because the general thing is people will just get the you know the, the shocker and then they just panic and freak out and then just go into depression or going to whatever but that does not help you so the only thing that's left after that is to you know work towards your problem try to solve it so maybe try that beforehand before freaking out instead of freaking out you know when these kind of things happen just see it through be positive and um yeah just try your best to be hopeful and work towards your goal because it will help to change things um drastically whether it's your mental mentality or just you know hey hi he's back Back. The man of Back. the hour. Back. Back. I was just trying to t tell them a little bit about um just staying positive. Oh, he just went to go get a package, by the way. He went to go get a package because he, when you're selling your vehicle, you have to have a package. Seller's package. Yeah. Seller's package. So that's what he went to go do. Yes. I was, I was telling them like that all these things just got tossed at us after getting the vehicle. Yes. Right, your vehicle went down. Now your vehicle is whatever. So I was just saying, saying that in all of it, you still have to just keep the faith and be positive because being negative is not going to do you anything. It's not going to change your situation. No, that's right. Right, being, being positive and doing all that you can. They can't see you. Get in the frame. Hi guys. Being positive and doing all that you can. I think you've come a long way. You used to be like that. You used to freak out. Do you I need to pee? Freak out. Babe, she's she's gonna pee all the time. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's got to pee. So anyway, all the time, guys. Sorry, just came from the mall and I didn't want to pee in the mall. <laughs> so, when I, I want to go to the washroom at home. What can I say? I'm old fashioned. No, that's me. I don't like using public yeah. bathroom. So that's it. I'm gonna end the video here. But yeah, I'm gonna have a question of the day. And since that you brought that topic of the since you brought that topic up, my question of the date is gonna be after. Do you prefer to hold it for when you go home? <laughs> or are you the person that literally pees everywhere? It doesn't matter where you are. You pee in the porta potty, you pee in the bathroom at the mall, you pee. I'm a bottle that... in your car. Oh, no. that's terrible. <laughs> no, guys. Sounds like don't you've done this it. before. Don't recommend you ever do that. So. And then it overflows. That's my comp. My... I know it's a very odd That'd question. It's an odd question. But answer it. Be candid and let me know. If because I'm that person that will hold it till she I is. get She's home. The person that will hold it I really it. don't like public bathrooms. I don't. No, she doesn't. So and, anyway, huh? And she uh, she makes it known to me when I use it. <laughs> so. Really, really though, Wait, am I at work with you when you use the the bathroom? No, you just say ew. Yeah, I just say ew. I just yeah, that's all I can do. But anyways, y'all, talk to you later. <laughs> Hi guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe.